Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today I am sharing my baby's nursery reveal. If you didn't know, I am pregnant, very close to giving birth. I am 38 weeks now. We are getting so close to having a little baby around. If you didn't know, I do not know what I'm having. We wanted to keep it a surprise, so I don't know if there's a little girl or boy in here. Since we don't know what we're having, it is a very gender neutral nursery. I wanted it to be very calm and relaxing in there. Instead of having a lot of different colors in there, I wanted a lot of different textures in there, shapes in there. Okay, let's just get into checking out the nursery. As you can see, I have this little um, macrame plant holder hanger on the door. This was a gift from one of my best friends and I think it looks perfect on this door and I'll just switch out the greenery. This I just picked from out in my yard. I love some Boston fern, so it totally fits with the vibe of this room. The room is a very little bit of farmhouse, mostly bohemian kind of style to it. So Lennon, my daughter, wanted to join me because she has helped me so much on the baby's room. All she wanted to do was do the baby's room, right? Mm -hmm. Ever since Christmas, we waited until after Christmas I shared in my last video kind of process of painting, putting the shiplap up on the wall and all of that. And then she has helped me pull the whole nursery together. So let's go check out the nursery. So like I said, I really wanted everything in here to feel very calm, peaceful, but lots of textures, lots of shapes. If you didn't see my last video, we shared how we put this shiplap up. I absolutely love this shiplap in this room. This is from the company Wall Planks. I highly recommend them. We have the same exact shiplap in my bedroom as an accent wall there as well and I think it's just as beautiful in the bedroom as it is in the nursery. I'll have all of their information linked down below because they have lots of different colors and textures and styles and all of that but we just have the classic white shiplap in here and I think it's just the perfect little touch for this room. What is your favorite part of the room, Lennon Love? I have no idea because it's so good. All of it is my favorite. <laughs> All of it's your favorite yeah. part? Didn't you help decide that we do the sleepy animals on the baby's wall, on the accent wall? Yeah, I did help with a lot of things. You helped with a lot of things. You also helped with the position shelves. of the shelves and where we should put them, the crib and how we should have the crib set up. One of my favorite pieces in this room is this little lion. I think he's so cute. I found him um, Wayfair, I think it was. I'll link everything I can down in the description box below if you see anything in here that you are interested in. We also have our cute little bunny from one of my best friends. His name is, what's his name? Forrest. Forrest. So he's hanging out on top of the little toy chest that we have. We don't have many toys in there yet because we don't know you know, what this baby's going to want to play with, and if it's a girl or a boy, so we'll fill that up later. I will say that Lennon helped put this little TP bookshelf together. She did such a good job. She, her and her dad put it together. She had no idea what she was doing. <laughs> I started to try and put it together with I was them. like, no, you're supposed to put these two pieces like that. Yes, uh, you, yeah. you're doing real good at the building stuff. We think it turned out so cute, and this was one of the pieces that you were looking forward to the most. It was one of our first pieces we got, besides the crib and the yeah. chair. And we also have these decorative rattles. Rattles, and I forget what that thing's called, but it's cute. It's like a toy. Thank you so much for helping me decorate and design the baby's room. Pretty soon we'll have a little baby in here to play with. Yay! Yay. Yay. All right, thank you for your help, love bug. Bye. 
I wanted a nice simple dresser I was gonna go for a more chippy kind of dresser and get one used and um, and have it be a little bit more like farmhouse looking but sometimes I have some other furniture like that and sometimes the drawers have a little bit of issues so I decided you know what let me just get a, a kind of plain easy simple dresser and then I decided to order these little leather handles off of Amazon and I think they look so cute on there you can do them like this or if you have a dresser with two holes um, you can have them more like a handle that you a horizontal handle but I think they look so super cute like that and were super affordable and kind of just changes up the whole look of this um, dresser so I love that and then I decided to not go the traditional route of a baby changing pad or anything I decided to go with a baby changing basket I think it's just really cute it might not be that practical later on but I think it'll be cute for a little while and I do want to take some newborn pictures of the baby in this basket as well so it'll be multifunctional. I really wanted to have leather accents in here so I went with this leather chair that is a glider and it's also a recliner. I wanted to have the option to have both and this was um, the color leather that I wanted to go with which there's not a ton of options for ones that recline, glide, and are this color leather. Uh, but I really do like this. It's super, super comfortable. And I just wanted some other pops of like that leather color and leather in this room. So I have my diaper bag that is also leather and this color. I have some throw pillows that are just really decorative throw pillows. The one in the crib is not going to stay there uh, once the baby is using it and everything. But just for decoration and styling, I think it looks cute in the room. And as you saw on the dresser, I added the leather straps in there to tie in the leather feel and look throughout the room. I ordered the crib and the glider and I think the dresser and a couple other little things before the light before um, the pandemic came into our world. Everything else after that I did not have for the nursery. So I had to basically put this nursery together all virtually by you know shopping online it was crazy not being able to go into stores especially to get like the littler knickknacky things or the little you know just the little touches i really wanted to have touches of greenery all in this room i have fresh live greenery in here obviously this tree is not live i would love to have a real tree in here but this room just doesn't give it enough natural light to be able to have a real tree in here but i do love that i'm able to have some other plants in here that are real and i just love the earthy kind of feel that this room has i hope you guys enjoy checking out my baby's nursery and if you're looking for some gender neutral nursery ideas and maybe this gave you some ideas or inspiration if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you think you know someone that would enjoy this kind of video share it with them I would love and appreciate that and that's it for today I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video bye before this video officially comes to an end I wanted to say a huge thank you to my wonderful mother Without her, this nursery would not be what it is. She helped us so much with the cost of this nursery during this super crazy time, and we are just beyond grateful and appreciative. She is always there for us and so supportive, and I just can't thank her enough, so I know you're watching this, Mom. I love you and thank you. We absolutely love this nursery, and we can't wait for our baby to enjoy it as well.